Hey, it's Gavin here. Welcome to the week. I hope you've had a great weekend. And in today's video, our live video, Health is Wealth show, I'm going to talk to you about a little motivation hack. I've mentioned this um, in a couple of places um, this past week or so, and I think it will help you. So I want to do a quick video on it here. So if you're struggling for motivation or you know, struggling to to stay fit, healthy, lose weight long term. This is this is for you, okay? So, I'm Gavin Walsh. If you didn't already know that, uh, I'm here with Body Fixers, and we help men and women over 40 look and feel great without any crazy diets or um, kind of nutty workout routines. You know, burpees for breakfast and all that sort of stuff. So it's uh, sustainable, something that you can do long term. So you see the benefits and the results long term without having to do the yo-yo thing up and down and all that. So if you've been doing that in the past, you're in the right place now because we don't want you doing that going forward, okay? And this is going to help you. So before we get stuck in, make sure you uh, drop a hashtag replay in the uh, comments if you uh, are watching this video later on. It'd be great to know that you've seen the video and if you have any thoughts on it, okay? So do let me know. So let me dig into this. So this is a, a kind of a, a little motivation hack and it's a... Uh, something that I've, I've done with my clients in the past and I've, I've banged on about it a few times but it's a little assignment for you today and or at least some for you to think about and it's to create a goal bucket list I'm not talking about uh, you know before you kick the can but just for the rest of the year perhaps okay so this will help skyrocket your motivation for sure it's gonna be fun okay and that's that's the, the key thing here it's got to be fun okay because our brain is it's hardwired to like new things, fun things, and, and you know, quirky things. Something that's a bit different. So when you look at your health and fitness, it helps to, to bring in that aspect, okay? So if you think about it, when you try something new or you take a new challenge, which speaking of which, I've got a, a summer slim down challenge, and everyone is keen as mustard right now because it's something new. It's, it's like, right, okay, let's do this. We're all doing it together. So it's got that, that component built into it. And it's a, it's a pretty um, nifty hack to keep your motivational levels high. And um, as I mentioned, it's got to be fun. Um, it's got to sort of uh, spark that uh, that light in you. And it's kind of, uh, you know, have that sort of novelty factor in there as well. So that will certainly help. And when you do this, it can help you move forward, get you excited. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, one of the things we do is help uh, men and women lose weight, feel great. And not just for a few weeks, this is long term. And this is part of it. And it's all about building healthy habits and you know, trying out new things. You know, I, I, uh, I mention this to a lot of my coaching clients, but finding that thing that you enjoy. Um, but this is part of it, trying to go out there, put yourself out there and try and find some new things. Okay. So let me give you a few ideas that might help you out. Okay. So um, let's see. So hiking, if, if, if you've never done that before, if you live in a, a place where there's lots of trails that you can go and try, get out there, go and do it. Um, recipes, maybe a recipe challenge where you cook two or three new meals um, from scratch every week. And um, this, this is good actually because a lot of us get caught in the trap of cooking the same things week in, week out. It gets boring. And so this is a good idea to help you try out some new recipes, some healthy recipes that will hopefully, that will hopefully like and build their way into your rotation. Okay, so then you've, you've got a big a bigger repertoire and you're like, oh, remember when we did that? And you mix it up. Keep, keep things exciting in, <laughs> in the kitchen, okay? Um, things you, other things you can do, learn to swim, golf, paddleboard. I started paddleboarding a, 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 probably two, three years ago now. Um, love it. You know, the weather's getting nice as well, so get out on there. The paddleboard for me is my yoga. Some people love yoga for that sort of de-stressing component. I love paddleboarding. That's that's that de-stresses me. You know, it's being out on the ocean. Just sometimes even just sitting there, just doing nothing. First thing in the morning, I absolutely love it. Um, playing tennis. One of my clients loves his tennis. Absolutely going bonkers for his tennis at the moment. Um, maybe exercise-wise, maybe give yourself a little exercise challenge. So something that um, you can perhaps do is like hold a plank for two minutes. You know, if you're struggling to do maybe 30 seconds, you know, right? I need to step my plank game up. And uh, maybe try and get two two minutes in there. Good morning, Dawn. Dawn is in as always. And by the way, if you're watching live, say hello. All right, do say hello. Don't be shy. Um, what else can we do? So a lot of a lot of you women can't do push-ups. 
and they drive me nuts. And partly, you know, the, part of the reason for it is that you all end up doing them on your knees. And you're never going to be able to do full push-ups if you're always doing them on your knees. So get get up. Learn the full technique first by bringing yourself higher up, maybe on a table, kitchen side, and slowly over the days, the weeks, you bring yourself down to the ground so you can do a full push-up and set yourself a goal of doing 10 full push-ups. I remember when I worked back in a gym many moons ago and um, I was uh, kind of showing off. I, I could do push-ups on two Swiss balls, so hands on one end and feet on the other end. And... Um, I bet the, a lady who was, who was um, a member of the gym, I said, uh, you know, uh, I can't remember what it was. I was, uh, I can't remember what, what the bet was, but I said, you know, let's see if you can do 10, 10 push-ups on, on the Swiss ball. Same, same way, so it was all balance, all core, very, very difficult. Um, but because I'd, I'd bet her, and it was like, right, she was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna show him that I'm gonna be able to do 10 push-ups on the Swiss balls. And you know what, she did it. You know, it took her a few weeks to learn to balance on it first and then she was able to do the push-ups and so setting yourself that challenge really does help um, what else can we do what else so and maybe you know if you've got a bit of a sugar, a sugar um, issue you know giving yourself a challenge of right no added sugar for for a week or so and I've got a five-day challenge actually so if you are a bit of a sugar addict I've got a five-day challenge um, it's just like a a little manual thing that will help you out so if you are struggling with sugar do let me know drop a comment down below and i'll make sure you get there okay um a couple, a couple of my clients do meditation and um, even if it's just for five minutes you know to kind of daily meditation okay that can certainly help um date nights you know even if it's just meeting with friends so whether it's your spouse or your friends we're often um i don't know in western society anyway it's like if we if we go out it's either having coffee or going out for a wine beer that sort of thing why not mix it up meet your friend or your, or go out with your spouse do something active okay mix it up rather than just kind of doing the usual thing let's go and do something let's go on a bike ride let's uh paddle board in let's go go do it i don't know a spin class together or something like that you can still catch up have a chat but it doesn't always have to be the same old boring things okay so trying to keep you active so whether it's i don't know bowling um ice skating axe throwing something like that you know something crazy so the list of ideas are endless here, but the key is it's got to be fun. It's got to be a little bit novelty. So create a list, maybe maybe today, maybe now, of just, I don't know, five, ten different things that you want to do over the next you know, six months or so. Um, and it'll help keep you active. Try and rope in a few people. Um, it'll certainly help you out. And it's, it's all about that longevity. Okay, so finding something that's fun, finding something that's active, that's really going to help you over the long haul, okay? So I hope this helps. Um, if you uh, if you have any questions at all, do let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, you share it. So Seal, I see you just dropped in as well. So good to see you. So make sure you like and share this video, and that will really help me out. And if you have any questions at all, and do let me know. And if you uh, if you're doing anything fun this week or maybe next week, drop it in the comments. Or if you're already doing something fun, if you've already started on this, drop it in the comments. Let me know. Let us all know. All right, so that is it from me today. You ladies that were watching live, thank you for hopping on board. And if you're watching the replay, it's great to have you here as well. Okay, so take care for now. I'll see you on Thursday for more Health is Wealth show. Bye for now.